Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Meditations in Math Olympiad. In this video, we will talk about a very simple but useful strategy. It's really a way of thinking. We will think about parallel lines as directions or moving in the same direction. And we will see how the simple way of thinking can affect problems and problem solving abilities. So let's look at a problem right away. Suppose we have a circle like this. So let me draw a circle and I'll draw a quadrilateral, a cyclic quadrilateral A, B, C and D. So maybe I just change this. Oops, sorry. D. Now let's join the diagonals. So B D C and A and A C as well, B D and A C. And let us draw the ortho center ortho center of bdc and adc these two triangles bdc the ortho center of bdc and the ortho center of adc so what is the meaning of ortho center it is the intersection point of the altitudes of a triangle. Uh, let me draw one. You will see what I mean. So I'll draw the ortho center of BDC first. To do that, I will have to draw perpendicular from B on CD. How do I do? How do I draw the perpendicular? Well, it will not exactly fall on DC, but it will fall a little bit outside it. So it's kind of like here. So this is a perpendicular from B to DC. Okay. And let's draw the perpendicular from D on BC. From D on BC, I'll also draw a perpendicular. So let's do that. Here we go. So here is an extended DC. So the perpendicular hits here. Now, I want the intersection point of these two altitudes. So, that will also be outside. So, I'll extend both of these altitudes and they intersect at somewhere. This point is H1. Okay. Similarly, I will draw the ortho center of ADC. So, let's see how we can do that. Uh, again, I can draw something like this here extend DC of course this is a perpendicular and I will draw the perpendicular here on a on DA perpendicular on DA from the point C like this this looks like a more familiar perpendicular and I'll extend the altitude to meet the other altitude. So it's this is the point H2. It looks like that H2 is on the circle. It might not be on the circle. Okay. Our goal is to show that AH1 like this and BH2 like this, they bisect each other. AH1 and BH2, they bisect each other. That is the goal. Goal, show that AH1 and BH2 bisect each other. Can you try to show this? If you can, give it a try. And then I will show you in the next video how you can think about parallel lines as directions to solve this problem. 